What's going on guys? Welcome to VOS Red Carpet. My name is Jackson Vungani. I want to thank you for joining us today on the show. As always, each week we bring you the latest in entertainment news, in sports, in film, television from around the world. Let's go. Entertainers joined demonstrations against Nigeria's special anti-robbery squad as part of a globally trending social media campaign that led to authorities disbanding the police group. In London and Abuja, African artists including Wizkid, Banner Boy and Davido joined protesters, while Drake, Didi and Trey Songz were some of the artists who expressed their support from afar. President Buhari is promising extensive police reforms in a statement that acknowledged the excessive use of force and in some cases, extrajudicial killings and wrongful conduct by police, but he said that it's relegated to a few bad eggs. The 2020 European Music Award nominations are out, which means we know the artists that have been nominated in the Best African Act category. From South Africa, Master Cages is nominated for his viral hit song, Jerusalem, and Kabza the Small and DJ Maporisa also made the list. From Nigeria, there is Bonaboy and Rema, along with Uganda's Sheba and DRC's Gaz Mawete. We'll have to wait until early November when the award show airs to find out who takes home the EMA. And we'll have it right here on Red Carpet, so stay tuned. And let's keep the music going. Host of VOA's Music Time in Africa, Heather Maxwell, connected virtually with Ghanaian singer Don Sigley to share his new hit single, Gungun Lelgu. Let's check it out. One of Northern Ghana's most popular singers, Don Sigley, has just released a brand new single and a music video. Now, we have Don with us virtually from Tamale, Ghana, to talk about the song, what it's all about, and why his fans are going crazy over it. Don, how are you? Hi, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm fine. So, Don, we're going to watch a minute or so of your music video, and then we'll come back and talk about why it's uh, just killing it up there in the north, okay? Sure, let's do that. So Don, what is this song all about? The title of this particular song is uh, And it's all about, uh, you know, money. I pray to God that he blesses us with a lot of money. And if he is going to bless us, he should bless us with the money that will stay with us and not the gungunlelgo type, the short-lived type, you know. I yeah. see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's gungunlelgo for you, you know. Okay. <laughs> Let's watch some more. So, quick question, Don. What does lafu mean? I hear lafu, lafu. What is that? Yeah. So, uh, lafu is in my uh, local dialect, which means uh, I'm praying. Like, lafu ye, lafu yandu matemte lafu. Money. Yeah, God, please bless us with uh, money. And if you are going to bless us with the money, bless us with the money that will stay with us and not the gungun lelgo type. Gungun lelgo type, uh, gungun lelgo doesn't stay with us for long. No it good. Short lived. Uh -huh, so that is uh, <laughs> as I explained earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the man with no shirt dancing and showing his jiggle? I love that, but who is this? <laughs> <laughs> we call him Ibu Ghana. Yes, he he's one of uh, the renowned actors and comedians uh, who are based in the northern part of Ghana. Yeah. So Don, why do you think fans love this song so much? I mean, there are so many little selfie videos of different people, men, women, old, young, dancing, singing along. It's amazing. 
one reason why I think uh, people are falling in love with this particular song is also the way it is being presented. The message is too catchy, you know. And when people, whoever understands the language, when you listen to the to the song, you you would actually appreciate what I'm saying. Can you describe one or two things that you say specifically that that really resonate with people? I said Dala Mambo is a question. So is this me? Take a look outside my house. So I have love like this. People uh, actually love me like this, and I couldn't see this simply because I was not rich. Are you critiquing people who love other yeah. people for their money, or are you just saying it's a fact of life? When you have money, people come to you; they're drawn to you. It's a fact. Whether you are a child, like, uh, or uh, if you are an adult, or a teenager, or even a baby. Trust me, if you have money, people will love you. <laughs> Even a baby, huh? <laughs> Even a baby. Everybody would love to pick you. Hey, yeah. baby, baby. Don Sibley, thank you so much. And let's go to Los Angeles where prosecutors have charged rapper Tolly Lenz with shooting artist Megan Thee Stallion in the foot during an argument earlier this year. The 27-year-old Canadian rapper was arrested the night of the shooting but released after posting bail. He is now facing two felony charges including assault with a semi-automatic firearm and carrying a loaded unregistered firearm in a vehicle. Megan Thee Stallion discussed the shooting in emotional Instagram videos, calling it super scary and the worst experience of my life. Since the shooting, her guest stint on the Cardi B song WAP helped make the track and the music video big hits. Megan Thee Stallion just opened the season premiere of Saturday Night Live. And now for some fashion, graphic, pop art inspired messages from Vought to Skate to Drive, worn on t-shirts or knitwear, appeared on looks for the Louis Vuitton fashion show in Paris. The event was held on the top floor of La Samaritaine, the luxury department store complex owned by LVMH, whose opening, after years of renovations, has been delayed by COVID-19. The Associated Press calls creative director Nicolas Guesqueria's collection a high-energy, gender-fluid tour de force, mixing references to the past with the designer's signature futurism. Green screen technology took the futurism one step further for digital viewers. Designer Stella McCartney says coronavirus has her thinking more about responsibilities of the fashion industry. Introducing her summer 2021 collection was an A to Z manifesto, with each letter representing a theme from A for accountability to Z for zero waste. I, I really was like, I don't want to buy new fabrics so much. I don't want to keep, you know, keep feeding this chain. I want to reduce what we're producing. I want to do more with less. I want to, you know, take materials we've had in stock, in storage, because we're not burning it or burying it like every other house. And I want to make garments out of it and make them limited edition. Or I want to, you know, and for me, that's as much the part of the creative process as a designer. The 20 year fashion industry veteran is optimistic during these challenging times. You've got to come out of this, not just wearing sweatpants. And we will all come out of this. I'm already saying to my team, okay, where's our like, Where's the celebration collection? Because we all know it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. And then, that's why there's color and there is hope in this collection. You know, there's all those lace dresses I talked about, the prints, you know, they're definitely, I designed them with the vision of them being out of your freaking bedroom. From Wonder Woman to the Queen of Egypt, there is a new Cleopatra coming to the big screens with Gal Gadot set to play the role. The actress tweeted the news writing, I love embarking on new journeys. I love the excitement of new projects, the thrill of bringing new stories to life. Cleopatra is a story I wanted to tell for a long time. I can't be more grateful about this A-team. And that team includes director Paddy Jenkins, who directed Gadot in Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman 1984. 
The Cleopatra casting drew some criticism on social media, with some people questioning why an Israeli actress is playing an African queen. And the other non-African actress who played the Egyptian queen was Elizabeth Taylor in 1963. And there is a new HBO documentary that spotlights the never-resting activism of Lin-Manuel Miranda's father, Louise Miranda. Here is more. I had a heart attack, and that was a year ago. Right. How are you, Dad? How's your health? Sempre Louise follows the political and community activist Louise Miranda for three years including his efforts to help his son stage benefit Hamilton performances for Puerto Rico. The elder Miranda told the Associated Press that taking breaks is for the weak. Probably the most important one is that you really need to use your energy, your talent, what you brought in to the good, uh, and to use it as much as you can. Uh, Taking breaks, uh, as we call it in my house, es para los flojos. How do you translate that? I'm the mellowest <laughs> member of my family. The imagine slacker, as you that, called yourself? Imagine that reality. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the weak. You know, taking breaks is for the weak. Taking uh, breaks is so important. <laughs> uh, it, it's important for the weak. Uh, I speak the same voice. <laughs> and... Uh, and, and I think that that comes through in, in the movie for the entire family uh, and the extraordinary people that are part of our lives, that, that doing good uh, and, 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 and trying to make a better place, it's, it's, it's key. Hurricane Maria, the strongest hurricane in history to make landfall. For me, Puerto Rico is this perfect place that all of a sudden doesn't exist anymore. Directed by John James, the movie did include some surprises for the young Miranda. I, you know, I will tell you when we watched, the, one of my favorite moments was we had sort of a family screening in Puerto Rico. We spent New Year's in Puerto Rico and we were there with his brothers and sisters and uh, my aunts and uncles and our cousins and uh, we watched the film together and the footage of his first wife who he was married he married his high school sweetheart and that got the biggest reaction i think of anything in the world like, whoa because you know we never saw her right. so that, that how'd was you get the, those pics yeah where'd you get that picture whoa and, and my wife immediately said why three pictures of her <laughs> i had to explain that i had to hand over my phone yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell him, I don't want to be a widow. There isn't another you to replace you. Doing everything we can becomes the job. Together, we cannot be stopped. Now, after what was an NBA season like no other due to the coronavirus, it has all come to an end with the Los Angeles Lakers on top as this year's champions. Star duo LeBron James and Anthony Davis defeated the Miami Heat's Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler 106-93 in game six of the finals with James being named MVP. Despite not winning the championship, it was a breakout year for Nigerian-American Adebayo who won the NBA All-Star Skills Challenge and had an exceptional first postseason at just 23 years old. As for the WNBA, the Seattle Storm took home this year's championship title, defeating the Las Vegas S's 92-59, closing out a sweep in the best of five series. Congratulations to both teams on their wins and pushing through despite a challenging year. And with that, we come to the end of our show today. My name is Jackson Vungani. I want to thank you for hanging out with me. For more entertainment news, remember to check us out at voanews.com. We are also on social media, on Instagram, on Facebook, and on YouTube. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Goodbye, everyone. Uh, uh, uh.